I am running about seven minutes late for Goodwill Outlets opening, so hopefully there's going to still be some good stuff in there. But I only have like 15 to 30 minutes to shop again today. I am just super busy today. And I wasn't even going to go, but I decided that, you know, it's just been a while and I'm really excited to see what I can find. I'm hoping to keep the cost around $30 to $40 or maybe less. So wish me luck. Oh my gosh, you guys. Today was the first day that I've ever had real drama at the bins. So there's a rule that they have here that when they're bringing out the new bins, you have to wait behind the line. There's like a yellow line. And today, sorry, I'm trying to make sure nothing falls out of my car. But today, a group of people would not listen when they kept saying, get behind the line, get behind the line. And so then people started like arguing, like this guy's not listening, they're pushing me. And it was like, I thought a fight was about to break out. And uh, finally, they kicked those people out of the line so that they weren't allowed to shop and during that time anymore. I think they should have kicked them out of the store, honestly. If you can't follow the rules, then you don't get the benefits of shopping here, in my opinion. But um, yeah, that was a little weird. I thought it was going to be 
like a fist fight literally in the middle of the Goodwill store with like a group of 10 people. <laughs> and that has never happened. Usually the morning is really quiet, like the, the opening morning time, like right when it opens, is usually the real quiet crowd. I mean, people are probably still tired and I don't know, they're just more chill people, but not today. I don't know, something's in the water today, I guess. And then some lady was trying to to trade me um, one of the, the lanterns that I got. She was like, look, I have this one. Will you trade me? It matches yours. And I was like, no, thank you. And she's like, really pushy. She was like, I'll trade you. Why aren't you not trading? Me? Why can't you trade me? Like, I was like, I don't want to. <laughs> Leave me alone. But yeah, it was, uh, that was a weird shopping trip. I, like, I don't even feel that excited about what I got because it was just scary. <laughs> I don't know. But normally it's not like that, so hopefully it doesn't scare you away from trying it. I spent $45, so I was pretty close to what I thought I was going to spend. Time to load up and get all these goodies home. Okay, I made it home. The fiasco is over. We're safe at home from all the weird drama at Goodwill. But I'm going to show you all the really good stuff I got. And you know what else? I was only going to stay there for 15, 30 minutes, but there was like no home decor bins. It was barely anything with home items. It was all clothes today and a little bit of shoes. They didn't even have a book bin, which shocked me because usually there's at least one. But there was none of that today. So I had to stay a little bit longer in order to even make that trip worth it. So I ended up staying for about 45 minutes. And in that time, they took out two new rows of bins. And in the second row of bins when they were taking it out is, um, it took a really long time. But that was the one that I needed because it had these in it. And I could see them from a mile away. And this was the only time ever that I've shopped at the Goodwill bins where I was literally like, waiting there on the line ready to grab something when they told us that we were allowed to start shopping. And usually I just stay back and let people be crazy, but I was the crazy one for this today. <laughs> this I saw and I knew right away I was going to wait for this. And I didn't know if it was going to be me that got it because some people are crazy over there and they're like throw some elbows and stuff. You never know. But I got it. It was from Hobby Lobby originally for $54.99. What a steal, considering my entire cart today cost less than that. This right here is probably also from Hobby Lobby, but there's no price tag on it, but it is awesome. It has all the perfect amount of rustic, and they both have battery candles in them, I believe, which those are pretty expensive on their own, so score. I can't believe I got two. There was another lady that was waiting for these two. I didn't realize it at the time. But afterwards, she was the one who asked me, will you trade? Will you trade? And she had one that was wood and black. And it's, it was really pretty, but my booth is more French country, lights and brights. So I didn't want to trade for that. And she just would not stop asking me, would you, well, come on, we could, we could flip a coin. And I'm like, I literally waited here for 30 minutes for this. I don't want to flip a coin. I got the one I wanted. <laughs> but anyway, I just walked away. The next thing is this awesome Hershey's Cocoa. It doesn't seem like it's that old but it has the look of being old even though it's fairly new it does have a dent right here which I might try and get out I don't even think I can get this lid off but either way I think it looks really really cool and it'll go really well with this look at it it doesn't close right now but I know that my husband's really good at bending things back so I think he'll be able to help me but how neat 
Container made in England exclusively for Case Manufacturing Company, New York, New York. That's interesting. So the container is made in England, but the company is from New York. But I thought it was so pretty. So pretty. Some more Hobby Lobby finds that I got were these plates. They're only $1.99 at Hobby Lobby, so, I mean, they're not expensive. This wasn't, like, a super amazing deal. But I do really like this color, and they don't always carry it. And this one they usually do always carry, but it's see $1.99 on the back. So if you do want these, you can go to Hobby Lobby and get them. These are so dirty, but there's two in each color, and I thought these would be pretty for spring or summer or just neutral home decor. I don't know if you remember the last time I got a turkey plate, but I told you that I had been looking for one forever and couldn't find one I can afford. And I swear, the trick to finding the item you're looking for is to stop looking for it because I gave up on looking for it. Fall was over and I didn't really need it anymore and I was going to wait till next fall to try and find one. And now I've found two. This one is not perfect. It has quite a few little imperfections. Mm, they're kind of hard to see on camera so like right in here but I think that when fall time comes around this will sell in my booth really well the brand is it looks like CKRO never heard of it it's from Walmart so ta -da! usually these are like 20 to 40 dollars this was one of the very few Christmas items that I picked up today there was tons of Christmas decor still in the tubs that somebody had stored them in, like everything was perfectly boxed. So whoever owned all this Christmas stuff really collected things that were probably quite valuable. I looked this up online and I found some similar ones listed for 20 to $40, but it is a lamp. It has little snowflakes all over it. And then it has a green light bulb on it inside. I haven't actually taken it out. Let me take it out for you. Watch it be broken. <laughs> no, it's still good. But it's this cute little lamp. I thought this would sell really well in my booth for Christmas this upcoming year. I was going to say next year, but it's already this year. Time is flying by, that's for sure. So this will get stored in my attic until it's Christmas time. And if you see a weird spot on my nose, it is because I had a varicose vein or a spider vein on my nose. And I had my dermatologist zap it. I thought they were going to do like a laser or something. No, she literally melted the tip of my nose. <clears throat> so now I have this big old scab slash hole in my nose. I hope it doesn't scar as an indentation. That would totally defeat the purpose of getting rid of that big old vein I have. Next I got two books. I had to really search to find a second book in order to make it be 50 cents. It's, it's a dollar a piece or 50 cents for two or more. And so I got one that says prayer journal for women, prayer journal for women. And, um, I actually have this, I bought it on Amazon, but somebody didn't even write in it or use it in any way. So I'm going to sell this in my booth. And then this one I got from my daughter. She likes the emoji kind of teen story stuff. So I think she'll really like this book. I found some terracotta pots that had really neat um, wear and tear to them that I think would look good in my booth. They're not super valuable or anything like that, but I think it will overall make my booth look really cute. Here's a cute little roll of some beige colored ribbon that I think I'll use a lot. This is a little stone floor de lis that I think will look pretty with my kind of French country design style I have going on in my booth. It does have one little um, spot that chipped so I might try and paint match and maybe do the darker color in that little spot right there just to make it look nice again and it has a little hook to hang it on the back. This little basket is in great shape. It's just disconnected here so nobody picked it up because they probably assumed it was broken. And it has a cute little wood handle. This is perfect for spring right now. I could put um, some faux fruit in here or eggs or something like that to stage it with. Um, and the, there was a guy looking at this at first before I grabbed it. And he was smart. He had a wooden sword that he probably picked up in one of the bins and was using that to move things because he didn't have gloves on. <laughs> I was like, that's pretty smart. This right here, I don't know what you would call this, like maybe an obelisk or something like that. But I think this will look pretty painted and distressed and sold in my booth. 
My other Christmas item is this little jar, and I even found the lid. It does have to be cleaned, but it was really neat. The brand is St. Nicholas Square. It seems... Oh, it's from Kohl's. $37.99. That's still almost as much as I paid for my entire cart of stuff today. And it has a nice rubber seal around the jar lid. It's a really good quality. It's just really dirty inside. But... I'll clean this up and put this in my attic and wait for Christmas next year. This cute home sign kind of has a medieval look going for it right now, so I'm going to tone down the silver on here just because it looks a little too medieval. I want it to look a little more farmhouse or cottagey, so I am going to probably paint these brackets, but I do like that it's wood and um, the letters look like metal, although they are not. They're that fake wood stuff. No price tag on it or anything, but I'm sure somebody paid probably around $20 for it new, um, unless it was on clearance, but I thought it was cute and worth picking up. Next, I picked up these feeders, and I think that you're probably wondering why. <laughs> I'm not going to use these for their intended purpose. I am going to use them to stage inside crocs that I sell in my booth. I got this cute little gray weathered tobacco basket, or Tabasco basket, as you saw in my other videos in my outtakes. I'm going to always have to call them a Tabasco basket now. I just, I can't help but think of it that way now. <laughs> I'm sure there's quite a few of you who probably think the same thing, and we're going to say it if I did it. <laughs> but it's a little bit bent. It's not perfect. But I think that if I stage it right, maybe put a nice bow on it or put a wreath inside it, it will still be awesome and somebody will snatch it up. I got this cute little straw hat. I think I'm going to cut out the lining here just because it's kind of yucky. Um, and I'm going to use this for decorative purposes only. So the store that I sell in does not allow you to sell used clothing items or used um upholstered furnace furniture like a couch or like a fully upholstered chair or something like that to where anything can have like gross bugs or anything in it um i do sell my completely brand new upholstered pieces in there but this will not be sold as clothing and i'm going to put a fun ribbon around here and make it go along with my french lavender field <laughs> style that i'm doing or theme that i'm doing in my booth this little straw wreath was originally 95 cents, actually $2.99 at Mangleson's Makin's, so whatever store that is, I'll have to look that up. If you've heard of that store, let me know. Mangleson's Makin's, $2.99. It looks like a very old price tag, too. And then they got it on sale for 95 cents, and that's probably about how much I paid for it. And I think this would look great for staging stuff in my booth, and I can put a price on it, and if nobody buys it, that's fine. Um, I think it's important to have items in your booths that are just for staging. You could put prices on them, definitely, because somebody may see how you staged it and want to do that in their own home. But um, ultimately, it's just going to make your booth look more high-end and help people to envision how they can use the items you're selling in their home to look really nice. I know that a lot of people have a really hard time envisioning something. Um, they need to see it themselves in order to, to understand why things would look good together. But um, this helps people to envision that. Another Hobby Lobby find. This was originally $24.99 from Hobby Lobby. And um, it had a fall arrangement in there. It was like a bunch of little orange, what are those things called? I can't remember. It looks like wheat or foxtails or whatever those things are called. But I had a bunch of those in it and they were orange and I thought, I don't really need that. So I ripped those out and just took this. And this was during one of those rushes where everybody was trying to rush to get the same thing. So I'm lucky I got this. <laughs> this bag full of little tiny carrots is perfect for Easter time. And actually my next video coming out is going to be an Easter decor DIY video. So these are going to be great for one of the projects that I have in mind. And I practically paid nothing for them. This awesome chunky basket is great as is, but I think I might give it a paint treatment or a whitewash even. I'm not sure. I want it to look a little more French country, although this, is, this would be fine, I think. But let me know in the comment section. When you buy baskets used, do you prefer, or even new, do you prefer them in this type of color? 
Or do you prefer them to be toned down a little bit, like have like a little bit of an aged grayish tone to them, or be darker brown stained, or have a white wash or white wax? What would you be looking for if you were going to purchase this out of somebody's booth? For me, I would probably want it to be like a like a wine barrel brown, kind of like a grayish brown color, maybe with a little bit of white wax on there but I'm not buying my own thing. So I would love to know what you guys would like to see because my baskets take a long time to sell when I do nothing to them and just put them in like this. So let me know in the comment section what you would want to buy. This little cutie is a Bible verse and it's on metal and I thought it was awesome and this would be a great little $3.95 piece to hang up in the booth that some of you might see and be like, oh, that would be great for at work. I can put this in my cubby or hang it up in the kitchen or buy the keys or who knows where somebody would want to hang it, but it's or it would make a good gift for somebody. But stuff like this I definitely pick up because it's something small that you can price low and it didn't cost me much, um, so I can still get a profit out of it even if it's priced really low. I also got this little piece of wood that I thought I could easily cut into little feet to make wood risers out of reclaimed wood that I have in my garage. So it just goes to show you that you can find parts in the Goodwill bins that you can use for all sorts of different things. Whether it's a bag of fake carrots or just a piece of wood like this, you can turn it into something really cool and high-end looking later on. So grab these parts if you know that you can use them in the future on some other projects. The last thing I got was for my son. It's this little monster truck. It has a ramp on it. He is just going to love this. I don't know how this works. What does this do? I don't know. I think this moves too. I'm terrible with these kind of things. I always just have my oldest daughter build all the all the things that have to be built because she's just a little engineer brained girl. But I think he's going to love it. Look, it even has flames on it. He is just going to love this. He hasn't seen it yet. It's a Hot Wheels brand too and it's like brand new. I just have to hose it off and give it a good disinfect. <laughs> if you have a little boy in your life, whether it's your son, your grandson, your great grandson, going to the Goodwill bins, you can find seriously amazing big monster trucks there. All of my son's big monster trucks I bought from there and some of them were, were remote controlled ones that obviously don't have the remote control but who cares? My son doesn't care. He's not trying to do the remote control things yet anyways so he just likes pushing these huge monster trucks all around and if you get them from the Goodwill bins you get them for like a dollar two dollars and if they get it dirty in the mud and break it or whatever it doesn't matter because it was so cheap and they feel like they're getting this massively expensive huge gift because these are really big trucks. So that's a really good place to look if you have a little one in your life that likes big toys like these. They also have loads and loads of stuffed animals there all the time, although that could be something kind of icky. Um, you'd have to really do some good cleaning and disinfecting and washing that stuff because you just never know. But it's just something to think about if you're on a really tight budget and you want to spoil the kids. That's all I have for you today. If you love thrift shopping and flipping and DIYs and being on a super tight budget, then you're going to love this channel. So please consider hitting subscribe down below. We post new videos every Wednesday and Sunday and we'll see you next time. Bye!